All eyes are on our nation's capital with security on high alert for tomorrow's presidential inauguration of Joe Biden. Yes, yeah, so let's bring in one of the members of Congress attending the event, a new member of Congress, Missouri freshman, had a pretty eventful 16 days in office, Representative Cori Bush of Missouri. Uh, Congresswoman, it is good to see you again. And I know you can, you, you're getting briefings and you're, you're talking to your colleagues about safety. You're attending the inauguration. But just as a mom and just from your experience in life, do you have security concerns about attending the inauguration? Yes, but you know what? I have security concerns about waking up in the morning, about going to sleep at night, about leaving outside of my home. So it's just like a Tuesday, you know? But uh, I'm uh, thankful that security right now here at the Capitol looks very different than it did on January the 6th. Like, you can see the presence. You can, the perimeter is really wide. Um, it's super expanded. And, you know, the... Just thinking about safety, it feels a lot different than it did a few, a few days ago. Well, Congresswoman, you are already making your mark. Mark, you have introduced uh, uh, a resolution to expel those members of Congress who sought to overturn the election. I'm curious, do you believe it's actually realistic for those members to be removed from office? This has to happen. We cannot allow Congress members, people who swore oath to defend our Constitution, to aid and abet the people who, those insurrectionists that came in with guns and zip ties, came in looking for us. We can't sit back and allow that. Congresswoman, one of your first speeches on the House floor has to do with impeachment. So that is a heck of a start to your uh, new career in Congress. You called the president the white supremacist in chief. That got boos from some of the colleagues on the other side. And then you had to hear from some of your Democratic colleagues later that they appreciated what, is, what you said. From both sides, what do you think about the reaction you got to that statement you made about the president? So, as far as my Republican colleagues who booed me, you know, I did. I wasn't offended by it because they heard me. They heard me say it loud and clear. They heard me say white supremacists like four times. They heard me say, they heard me call their Republican president white supremacist in chief. He is also the big daddy of bigotry. He is also the current father of racism. That is who he is. And we will call him as such. So um, they didn't like it, but you know what? They weren't having conversations while I was talking. They know exactly what I said and they understood what I meant. They didn't like it, that's on them, but they showed their true colors. The other thing is my uh, Democratic colleagues were like, yes, Corey, yes, get it, you know? So they were right there with me. And, and um, Assistant Speaker Catherine Clark made a, uh, she made a tweet talking about how she also called out white supremacy the same day from the House floor and did not get booed. And she said the only thing that was different was skin color. Congresswoman, like I said, you are making your mark. Your voice is being heard. You wrote a powerful op-ed in the Washington Post where you compared law enforcement response to the attack on the Capitol versus law enforcement response to the Black Lives Matter protest. What do you want people to know? We've been beaten for much less. We've been beat with batons, tear gas, so much tear gas to where um, you, like, you know, it was just like people were targeting you. The officer would target you with tear gas. We've been um, arrested, assaulted, brutalized. We've had dogs, uh, rubber bullets, noise munitions for much less. I, I was thrown up into the air and my face uh, came back down and hit the ground and I was stomped for being a nurse trying to help a woman we thought was having a heart attack. This happened because we were saying Black Lives Matter and you won't go around killing us disproportionately when you are supposed to protect and serve us. But what they did, they actually killed people. They actually came and broke into the U.S. Capitol, into our home and put all, the, all of those lives at risk. And they got, some of them, they started out with a slap on the wrist at right there at the Capitol. That wouldn't have never happened had that been Black Lives Matter. Congresswoman Cori Bush, um, it's good to see you once again. Good luck tomorrow and good luck the rest of the way in Congress. We consider you a friend of the show. We expect to see yes, you back absolutely. here plenty, all right? Thank you, have a great one. Well, hey,
hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.